This segment of the Sports Narrative Radio Show is backed by Xena Communications. Internet, Wi-Fi, IT, cloud services, and security cameras. Get connected in your home or office today. Call or click for your free consultation in the DFW area. It is time for Ninja Golf. <laughs> All right. Oh, As crap. The British Open uh, will be this weekend at Royal Troon Golf Course, one of the uh, fabulous Lynx golf courses over there. And kind of snuck up on us this time. Um, that it did, Chuck. So there you go. In fact, last week's uh, tournament at Greenbrier Briar was canceled. So we had no Due golf. To the to infestation to, of galligators? Uh, I think a sinkhole. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you serious? No, it's flooding in oh. like West Virginia. <laughs> like, seriously, they have those on <laughs> golf courses, man. He really is scared of that. It's like you're spiders, man. Dude, you, you don't understand. If the, if the ground disappears, you, I can beat a spider. I can't do nothing against a <laughs> hole. The ground is gone, What if it's man? a sinkhole filled with spiders? Exactly, huh? a sinkhole oh. filled with spiders. The spiders have created the sinkhole. And... With Bill Belichick standing over our head is how this show will end. Oh, the Armageddon. <laughs> what's, that, what's that show with all the potheads that, like, the end of the uh, world This show? is the end. Yes. That would be our This is the End. That is, with Bill Belichick standing over there saying, yeah, I cheated. Yeah, that's how it'll all end for us. All right, well, it's not going to end this week, though it may end poorly for one of us. As Ninja Golf, of course, is our very own fantasy golf uh, where we pick now four golfers and... The people, that, the person that finishes worst, or the two people that finish worst, will be punished. Because we don't reward winners, we only punish losers. And since there's only three of us this time... No, how'd that happen? Oh, so wait a minute. That means do the two people get to pick on the one person? No. Uh, one person gets to abuse two? Yes. The ultimate championship. Gentlemen, if you've noticed, there is a pattern to Ninja Golf. As uh, much like the side scrolling yeah, all the damn time the side scrolling Atari game of the uh, 1980s, uh, there is a pattern, and the pattern is this: uh, usually we do some kind of gimmicky bit for the Masters, then we almost always have some kind of drinking game for the U.S. Open, and as a tradition started last year when we had a hot dog eating contest, the British Open losers will be punished with an eating challenge, this time sponsored by the worst foods that Britain can offer you. I love this. The two participants who lose at Ninja Golf this time will be forced to eat two crackers that have the Marmite spread on it. Okay. Marmite is, is it a, made of actual marmots? Is a brown spread made from yeast e yeast <coughs> extract, a byproduct of beer brewing. Uh, it is a sticky paste with a very mm. salty and malty Ooh. kind of flavor. Nice. Uh, you will have two crackers with that spread on top that you will have to eat, and Sounds then good. you will open your can of Spotted Dick. Oh, that's not a food. I thought Spotted Dick was a food. It is a food. Oh, it is. We a gotta drink it. No, it is a can. It is a a sp hey, this, Let me describe it to you. Uh, okay. A British dessert cake that comes in a can. Ooh. It is a suet, a pastry from raw beef or mutton fat. Uh, a pudding. I can guarantee you, I'm not going to eat a dime <laughs> if I lose. You guys can just finish. I don't care what the penalty is. With Hit me raisins, with a dozen pies. it's not happening. And other dried fruit are mixed into it before cooking and canning. I'm in. That sounds that sounds quite delightful. All right, gentlemen. Well, uh, last time you boys lost, of course. And I should I just hit him with a pie real quick? Uh, we're gonna do that right after this. Oh, I okay. believe Felpin's got the honors on this one. Yeah, because I hosed it up horribly. Like I set a record. Like I picked the worst three dudes last you week. You absolutely did. So, Mr. Feltman, you will pick Jason first, Day. then Dustin, <laughs> and then myself. <laughs> Jason Day. <laughs> The odds on favor right now. Yep. Right. yep. So we got eight to one odds as you will take Jason Bauer Day, Mr. Dust Copening. Oh man. Uh well just scouring the odds here and looking at a few other things. Uh this remember this is horrible video. Let's try to make I it quick. I know, I know. <laughs> Listen, That's all good. Man, I'm just not hundred percent ready on that. I know, none of us were. Rory's ain't when I'm ready, man. I know what my Brent picks are. Sneedaker. <laughs> Oh, wait. You're going with Tiger, right? Tiger Woods. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I will go with old Jordan Spieth. I think that's a good call. That's yeah. a good pick. 
All right, so you pick Jordan Spieth. All right. Well, I will ride with Dustin Johnson. He's running a hot streak. Sheesh. I'm hoping. <laughs> and your second pick? Um, I'm going to take a Dustin pick. Give me Justin Rose. The wow. Local, the local Brit to uh, try to come on there. Or All to do right. what? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Dustin? <laughs> uh, back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, God fun. Almighty. Uh, give me Adam Scott. Mm, Adam Scott. He let me down before. That's why I'm never picking him again. He did okay for me last time. And give me Rory, man. I, like I can't him. believe if you guys are going to leave him there. Rory and? Actually, hold on. I'm not going to select Rory in the second round. You're taking the third round. I'm going to select Ricky Fowler in the second round, and select Rory in the third You do realize round. Ricky Fowler was the reason you were drinking last time, but that's <laughs> cool. It's all good. Uh, I'm going to go with Sergio, Sergio Garcia. And when Rory McIlroy wins this, and I have picked him up in the third round, I will laugh at you. And he misses the cut. Yeah. Then I picked him up in the third round. Who cares? I am going to take another guy on the top of the list that's usually not there. Give me Brandon Grace. Dustin, who did you take? Sergio. Wow, okay. Hey, man, I, you know what? He's due. And He's like 0 for his career. Has he ever won an o, a major? Sergio? Yeah. No, he has not. Okay. But he finishes well. Hmm. I have two Is choices the, here. Uh, and he finishes, you know, usually within the top ten or so. Yes. No, that, he's solid. Good My pick. final pick will be Lee Westwood, as I should have picked him last time. He did quite well early on, and then he <laughs> fell apart. So hopefully he can do a little something here. Give me Lee Westwood as my final pick. Wait, Dustin, who's your fourth? He's I about to pick it. <laughs> oh. We have oh, four, but right. we have four. Yeah. And then he goes back to him. Sorry, my yeah. bad. So I have Dustin Johnson. Uh, Justin, Rose, Justin Rose. Brandon Grace. And Lee Westwood. And Lee Westwood. Dustin, you currently have Spieth, Adam Scott, and Sergio. Sergio. I have Jason Day, Ricky Fowler, and Rory McIlroy. Dustin, your final pick. I will go with Louis Oosthuizen. The Louis Oosthuizen. The Looster. The Ooster. The evil German from South Africa. And finally... <laughs> what? <laughs> Just go with it. Perfect. Give me... Forget it, he's rolling. Yeah. <laughs> Deki Matsuyama. Oh, very good. You're, you got your guy yeah, back. That's fine. And of course, he'll haul off and win the whole thing. He's not bad. 50 to 1 odds. No. That'll work. Excellent, gentlemen. He opened 40 to 1. Oh no! Oh, you got no. you got to know all the odds, man. It's all right. He's a sneaker upper on her. What? That's a thing. Look it up. Google it. Sneaker upper on her. Believe it. All right. There it is. Ninja Golf. So there. next week, uh, we will uh, update probably via Twitter or wherever the uh, standings at the British Open. Uh, should be a fun course. It's always fun. I like the British Open. You know, the, you know the Links do? course looks the like next, hell. The next four we should give to Snopes as a control. And just to see how he does. <laughs> the All right. Next four so ranks. he would have. I, we can't give him Henrik Stinson because I think he's hurt still. He we can't give him an he's injured person. Odds. No, if he's, I know, if but he's I think injured. he got hurt. So let's, hold let's, on, I'm going to look that up real right. quick here. He got Henrik that was the Stinson. guy that got me the exception last time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's why. Let's not do give him. All right, so then he would have Phil. Ooh, that's not bad. Martin Keimer. <laughs> Martin Keimer. Uh, okay, then we have a choice here. Danny Willett, Zach Johnson, Shane Lowry, Jim Furyk, or Matt Kuchar. He likes the Cooch. He does like Cooch. So like, uh, Henry Stinson's in there, man. Dude, I... 25-1 I, to 1 odds. Big you wanna, I, 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 wouldn't, capable. I wouldn't say... I wouldn't give it to him. It's but. J July 12, 2016. He's 25-1 to 1 odds, man. He's All right. healthy. Stinson, then. There you go. That answers the question. Henrik. Phil, Keimer, Kuchar, and Stinson. And if he loses, he has to eat spotted dick. Perfect. Find more by subscribing to this channel and visiting us at www.thesportsnarrative.com. Join us every Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Central for a live edition of the Sports Narrative Show, brought to you by Zena Communications and G&K Services.